Okay, we're here at Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues, and we're going to show you how to do some asabuco. Uh, put a little bit of olive oil in the skillet, and then uh, we're going to do it right in the pot. We're going to braise it in. So I'm going to brown the asabuco first. So I put a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil. We've got these here. The grocery store, about five bucks a piece. Wholesale, you get them a little cheaper. So I'm going to hit them with a little salt and pepper. Into the flour. These are real nice though. You can see they're going to be real tender. Provimi veal. And then, uh, flour them. Into the skillet, into the pot. And this we're going to brown them up real good. Then we're going to add some wine, some tomato juice, uh, some chicken stock. I don't have any veal stock right now, otherwise I put some veal stock, which would be better than doing it with water. You can still use water, but a little stock is better. And then uh, I'm going to put just a little bit of paprika blackened seasoning just to give it some good color. Okay, so uh, we have the asabucos browned off nicely. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dump off most of the excess grease we have in there. And then uh, what I put in there is uh, some onions, carrots, diced celery. Put that in there. Put a good, good handful of mushrooms. Have, uh, you, use, you can use white wine or red wine. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Probably like about five or six ounces. I have a tomato juice off some canned tomatoes. Pretty thick. Use two ladles. Let me see what a tarragon got. A little bit of time. Okay, here, like I said, we we'll just cook that down just a little bit. And I've got the chicken stock. Probably two cups. Now a little bit of salt and pepper. Got it. Do we have time to tear it on? Oh, got it. So here's what you do. Just so you don't over put too much in. Just, just a little bit of time. A little bit of tarragon. Bring it up to a simmer, and then we're just going to pop that right in the oven. Okay, so we brought it up to a nice simmer. We're just going to pop it in the oven and leave it in there for at least an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Okay, here we're going to pull that asabuco out of the oven. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to plate it up for my, my friend Josh Feldman is here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna cook up. We're gonna plate up an awesome buco for him. Okay, so we got it. We're just gonna. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna get it super hot. Reduce the, the sauce down a little bit, and I will plate it up in a minute. Look at that. No, uh, the only no thickening on that. Only thickening was the uh, flour on the veal. Look at that. I'll show you this trick here for the gravy. Put a little bit in there. See that?
Just like downtown, except no tall buildings. Here we go. All right. Try that out, Josh. All right. Let's know what you think. Should be like butter, butter tender. Huh? Yeah, it's really good. What's wrong with your eyes? <laughs> All right, man. Good food, good friends. It's Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. That's Villa Sabuco. Simple. Give it a shot. You do it lamb shanks, pork shanks. The same treatment. The same way to do it. And uh, this uh, Bob Jackal, Bob Jackal Productions, thank you very much. Have a great night.